Yo, what's going on guys? Mastery is incredibly broken here in season 14 because of the new items. Basically, Bork is a little bit weaker to be fair and no longer gives a speed up. However, Second item rush is a huge spike for Master Yi. Experiment on a hex play. After you use your R, you get a bunch of extra attack speed and movement speed for eight seconds. It works perfectly with Master Yi R, because Master Yi R lasts seven seconds, plus you can get extensions. It makes his two item power spike extremely scary and ridiculously hard to deal with. So yeah, we're gonna be going for Borg into experimental on a hex plate into a big fat juicy, typically rage blade, but if you need magic resist, you can go for Wits end, totally fine. But normally third item is Rage Blade. Stack up that true damage, plus interact with Master Yi passive. We should have just smited the Gromp, whatever. It's gonna slow us down a little bit. If you're not getting a leash, you smite your first camp to get level two faster. Typically, if you get a leash, you'll smite the Gromp, but uh, in this case, I kind of just held on to it, which is somewhat wasteful. Mastery has a crazy base movement speed at 355, highest base movement speed in the game. Elise does have 355 as well, but only in spidey form. Auto into Q. My Q is on a cooldown. Auto W auto. W is a great auto reset. It also makes you take 90% uh, less damage for a half a second when you use it. So that's pretty nice. It's a great, great tool to mitigate lots of damage and auto reset. Just there, I took six damage from his auto attack when I was on my W, and I also got to use it as an auto reset. We'll go ahead and smite this red buff. No reason not to. We can get our red buff autos in here. Auto W auto into Q. Whenever you Q, it puts your it freezes your E and your passive, so you don't really have to worry about wasting it. So we did roughly a 320 full clear. We did have, I think, a little bit of a leash. I'm pretty happy with that all in all. Random fiddle effigy. Balling's roughly 20% easier to gank with this wall. You can come up behind them without taking turret shots. Mid and top have these huge walls now. So mid and top are roughly 20% harder to gank, which is why normally as a jungler, you wanna start top side these days and path towards bot because the odds will be more in your favor that way. So yeah, this wall, the turret can see us the whole time. You'll take four shots if you try to come up here. It's really, really bad. Junglers who can go through walls or just over it, it's a lot better for them. I'll go ahead and ghost in. This is looking pretty bad. She needs to focus Traven. Run him down, auto W auto. Q behind him. I do have a uh, lethal tempo, so we'll see. Auto Q, auto, beautiful. So even though my teammates were gonna lose 2v2 there from basically the Draven, we're able to get a double kill out of it and I know we can 1v9 this game. Mastery is the perfect champion for this type of thing as long as they're getting some gold income. Let's go ahead and pick up some of this Bork, just like so. Very nice, 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 nice. Riven ends up suiciding, I th think. Because Malachi has no kill, no assist, and she just has a death. She must've been proxy for some reason. And we'll continue to farm topside, push towards bot, because once again, with the way they move bot lane wall, bot lane is easier to gank on average. Mid and top lane are more challenging and slower pace to gank is the main thing. It takes more time and it's easier for them to ward it off through the pixel. In the mid laner, they can just play towards the corresponding side of their turret. So Echo, if he plays more towards the left side, you can see everything and say Ari more towards the right side. Auto W auto. and drag him out and yeah we're just gonna keep farming ganking bot bot lane is typically the lowest level lane as well so as jungle it's a no-brainer but bot lane is the only lane you'll consistently hit level six before top and mid will almost always at 90 percent of games at least 90, i'd say 95 percent of the time top and mid are going to hit six before jungle jungle has to steal a lot of minion xp to hit at the same time ish you see how they're already six do nothing laners zero kills zero kills but they're both six before the six minute mark. It's the uh, top lane, mid lane privilege. You can essentially do nothing and hit the early level six in the game by far. We're still really far off and we have two kills and we've been full clearing. 
see they're level four. We're a higher level here. We'll check for double words off our oracles. All right, it's not really worded. It's hard for them to word because the effigies don't stick around like a normal word. Once I walk into it, it just disappears at that point, even if I don't have oracles on. The biggest downside to fiddle support is this weak vision control. They're playing back now. I don't think I can stay for blues. Okay, Lee Sin is on the void bugs. Those give him extra damage against turrets. True damage on hit. Those void bugs, they don't give much gold at all. They give you roughly half a level of XP. They're okay. I still prefer dragons though. Doesn't seem to be awarded. Hey, fiddle. Auto W auto. Nice, not bad. My Q, I can no longer reach him anymore at that point. That's when we'll use it. Or you use Q to basically dodge turret shots or even dragon autos like this. Then we can auto W auto. I think I hit W late there. You get the general idea. <laughs> Not bad. We get to kill bot side and we get dragon. Ocean Dragon's kind of cracked. He doesn't have boots. Plus, I'm faster than him already. So, with a ghost on. No boots. Type that to my teammates so they know this chase should be. This chase should be okay. I don't know if I hit that ward or if he did, but. Oh, he didn't connect. He didn't really get what he wanted there. Not bad. Not bad at all. Got loads of our treasure hunter. Three stacks. They're going to end up FFing because I'm going to have so much gold. You'll see once we're two full items with the Bork and then Experimental and Hexplate Power Spike. It's going to be too much to handle. If Ravenous Hunter was still a thing in the Domination Tree, you'd go for that. But since it's not, Treasure Hunter is the de facto Ravenous Hunter to where... I mean, if you're doing well, it, it just lets you snowball out of control in the same way Ravenous Hunter allowed you to do. So many champions used to take Ravenous, so they removed it because I believe it was Omni Vamp. So whether you were an AD or AP champion, it was extremely beneficial. The only people who didn't really look to take it were tanks. And even then, people like Zach who have high damage output as a tank could still run it. We'll grab Red Buff head bot lane with six. Mastery has arguably the best dives out of any champion in the game. We'll soak the first turret shot. Meditate the second and dodge the third entirely. The turret shots do ramp up damage, so each consecutive shot against champions does more and more and more and more and more. I believe it goes all the way up to times three damage. Alley six, we can do this. I ping his R one time. Hopefully, you can see that. I know they removed the ability for you to ping your teammates for them to see, so hopefully, he can. Oh, what? I don't know. This is hella sketchy. Lisa kind of came out of nowhere. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, my bad. I'll just say my bad. It'll make them feel better. It was kind of my bad as well. I caused that to a degree. Wait, why is Fiddle in my jungle? This is bizarre. He has a bunch of execute damage on his drain. The fact that he's over here is kind of insane. This is deep like that. If I had ghost or something, he'd be dead there. Because he's overall low damage. I mean, if they stay, they die. He might have left an effigy here. Still has two control wards. I'll meditate back up. I don't think Lee Sin's here. All right, yeah, this might, well, I don't know. Maybe not. They're backing off. Stopping my back here, isn't he? Nice try, buddy. <laughs> he barely missed me. We got Bork now. We'll grab Boots. <clears throat> we might have to go for some tenacity to deal with the fiddle fear. I could go for Herald here. Anywhere we go with Bork should be a kill. We have the slow off of it and loads of shred. The 12% current health damage. So basically the healthier they are, the more damage they take. 
It's insane with mastery double strike on his passive, plus his Q applies on hit effects. It's kind of cool. They did that when they were trying to push Master Yi away from being an assassin for a while there, because that was one of the more optimal ways to play him. Oh, I don't die, I don't die, I don't die. Wow, that was close. I need to get off one more art. If I would have auto W auto, maybe I'm able to kill her there. I was very, very close. My kill on Lee Sin was a little bit of a kill still. I only did it because I was going to get R extensions. And if I didn't do it, he would have died before I could get there. So feels bad for Echo, but we got R, -R off of it at least. I think Riven's in the general area. She has Sundered Sky. She's doing a farm heavy kind of thing here. Auto Q auto. I don't have any armor, which makes me nervous to solo her without my R. Malkai's bombing, so we should be able to easily handle clearing minions just standing there pressing Q with bombies on. Dragons up. We really should path towards that. Marty in this area and Riven's been a big bully. I think she's pretty killable here. Hey friend. We'll get her with the smite. Q her when she's coming out of midair. Down she goes. I think she accidentally ignited him. Auto W auto. I think he's trying to get them to focus me. But he didn't. It seems like a lot of people are going Sundered Sky. It's not that bad for me to trade gold with him. Besides the fact that he gets a shutdown. I mean, that it is bad in hindsight. 800 gold. I only got max 300 gold off him there. Still, 300 gold on us. It's a pretty big deal. Let's go for Mercs. And now we go for Experimental Hexplate. Go for Tunneler. Lots of health. We'll go bot side. R is over there as well. Draven gets the R. Draven one trick with the name <laughs> to match. We'll see how well he can stay alive. He's got no one to pill for him. I don't know how he's going to get an alley echo ye off his forehead. He's not even a full item here. They can't really stay. His effigy should just disappear. Yeah, he's got wards now. He's got effigies and wards. Lee Sin must be here. There's too much too much uh, aggro happening. They want this dragon badly. Got with the R. Oof. Auto W auto. <laughs> Did a Q auto W auto E. Got Q down again. Nice, nice, nice. Well played by my teammates. Apparently that was Ward because Fiddle set up an R for it. Some well timed meditates kept us alive just long enough for my teammates to finish them off. And then our R passive gives us 7% cooldown reduction immediately on our abilities. That's letting us Q spam again. Meditate spam. Stay alive. That is essentially the game. The game's only going to get harder for them. They lack a proper enchantress to keep their carries alive. They're all playing kind of macho champions. The Lee Sin, Riven, Draven, Ari. They're all on more carry style. They don't have people to play the support roles like a Galio mid or a Maokai top on their team or a Janna. That's just my, my theory though. I don't think they'll have the tools to keep people alive before I can get my resets from R. <laughs> the resets we get from champion kills and assists, absolutely brutal. Because if they're throwing abilities at me or even auto attacks, if I meditate it or Q, it's like it never happened. So we're, we can end up soaking so much aggro that we're essentially a tank while simultaneously doing buttloads of damage. I don't really want them taking this. Looking at their items are relatively equal. I think we go for Riven. 
Or oh, this guy. Take it, Lee Sin. <laughs> Is he gonna take the Q? That'd be freaking hilarious. I don't even have my auto W auto. He dies for my red buff burn. I didn't have smite there. Could ghost the Riven down. There's no need. Bot lane's dying at the moment. Who got Harold? Looks like Echo picked it up. Jeez, she's such a pest. Auto W auto. I have green jungle item. She can fight me if she wants to. She will 100% lose. Sundered Sky is great for laning. Very scrappy, trade heavy item that lets you win the trade by default through the free crit and self heal. But for a full HP fight to the death against a Shredder, a Vayne, Master Yi, Cass, Azir. <sighs> Oof, I don't know about that one. It's not the item for that. It's, it's too slow paced to be doing that. We'll go ahead and stay for the wave. I can back for my experimental hex plate. There's not a whole not a whole lot of reasons for me to be sticking around right now. Ari shows up, at least we forced her to come here. And now we reset. Reset right here, just in case this was warded. I don't want Fiddle hitting me over the wall. Something big. We get the fast Herald recall, since I guess we got the assist on him. We get one fast recall. That's kind of awkward. All right, we got the X-Plate. Now we go for Rageblade. Rageblade isn't even a recommended item on Mastery anymore. What the heck? <laughs> That's so weird. Why isn't it recommended? It's been recommended item on him for... A decade <laughs> for probably over 10 years it's been one of his core items or at least optional <laughs> it doesn't have it here that's hilarious Oof. if they were super ap heavy we'd push ma third or what's n third if we had an enchantress such as a lulu or john at a pill for us we'd go for a kraken slayer third item kraken slayer it's more 80 carries building it these day these days Still really good for Yi. We're level 12 with R, Ghost, and two full items. Their 0-1 R is a higher level than us when we have 8 kills, 4 assists. Jungle's always behind in XP. It's just how it goes. This is a really weird fight top side. Baron isn't up, Dragon isn't up. They're not no one's even under a turret. They're just fighting. He goes Lee Sin, he's healing like crazy. Fiddle sticks is dangerous if you're low on health. His drain has a bunch of execute damage at the back end of it. Alright, we run this guy down. I have tier 2 boots. I'm also Master Yi, so I'm really fast. He's moving 380. We click on him, I'm moving 420, so I'm moving a lot faster. We really should just stay for this. Someone needs to ward. I guess we're not doing it. We can't do it if I'm the only one here. We'll be doing half damage if we're the primary person tanking it. Blue jungle item's fine on you. Green jungle item's a lot more consistent. Red's not worth on most melee champions right now. Range champions can apply red jungle item way easier. Hmm. Yeah, this might be something. Oof. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just dead. I was in a really bad spot. That's rough, dude. Rivenly said, go for me. My fed team kind of cleans up a bit. It's going to take them a while to kill Maokai. It's hard for Bailey's to finish him because Maokai cues them away. Just like that. That was a great juke. He heals off the auto, cues him away. He gets to stall out this play for quite some time. Almost got him there.
Dead Man's isn't really worth it. Stride's fine. Sterics is fine. I, I'm really not getting a whole lot of pill, so you know what? Let's just go for Sterix. We'll get some decent tenacity. It gives 20% tenacity now, just at all times. A lot of health and a fat shield. That way Riven can't burst me down, because if I'm not having time to get maxed out, lethal tempo and sting life are all resets, then there's really no point. Got it. He fears me away. Got it. We get the assist as well. Now we run this guy down. Got him in there. Oh, where you going, boy? Got you smited. Oh, wow. Wow. Whoa. All right. So he... Huh. Okay, so he ignited me. That hurt my meditate healing. I ended up taking a turret shot, and I didn't get out of his drain range. I thought I was out of his drain range and turret range, but now I'm not sure. I might have still been in range of both. That was really dank. <laughs> Dying to fiddlesticks, my goodness. After he flashed, I probably should have let him go. I didn't anticipate the ignite. Hellblade's Echo, that's a weird one. Seems to be working. He won that solo. Two full item versus two full item. Alright, let's go get a drag. After Sterix, we could go for Stridebreaker, pick up our Rage Blade. I don't think Ravenous is worth it at all. Trinity's not really worth it at all. Guardian Angel's fine. Death Dance is fine. Now here's Fiddlesticks. We know exactly where he is and what he's trying to do. Hey, Fiddle. I'm not even going to press R for that. There's no point. No one else is over here. If we stay close enough to our team, to where we're not the first person engaging, we win by default. We only lose if I'm the first one in and I get four or five man focused and insta-die. So as long as Ally goes in first or even Echo or even our AD carry, we're fine. Should be Baron. It's a little scary doing it versus Lee Sin. He's not easy to outsmite with his Q mechanic. Yup. You can tell they don't want us to get this. The Baron looks so creepy now with all those little arms. Riven splitting bot while Lee Sin's watching us do this. I would like to just Q to this guy. Yeah, I'm not going to stay here and do this. This is some bull crap. We dodged his fear, by the way. Fiddle fear is technically a... Uh, it has a travel time. We can get out of that with our Q. He might actually just raw Q me here. Nope. Looks like he's going to die to a teammate instead. They kill him, and we're Gucci. Smited. We'll take it. Not bad, not bad, not bad. It's a really annoying mechanic against Fiddle Sticks. I hate it because I play Fiddle a lot, and against good Masteries, they almost always Q your fear, just like what I did there. So if he holds on to it, he just straight up dies, and if he uses it, it doesn't even count. It puts the fear on full cooldown, and it doesn't affect Yi as long as he presses Q. Sure, you have to have good internet and a good computer and half decent reaction time. There's plenty of those players, Diamond Plus. There are dime a dozen in Diamond. Mastery only has, like his Q's his only ability he really has to focus on using. It's not like he's sweating it out when to press E. Just press E when you're not when you're hitting him with autos. <laughs> not much to it. Mm, I'm on wards. I do have quite a bit of tenacity. 
Merc treads. Oh, I guess it's just mercs right now. Green jungle item no longer gives tenacity. It doesn't give him tenacity for a hot minute. I'm not sure what just happened. I don't know if he landed Q or if that was E. I got an assist for it though. That's kind of cool. Echo pops a double. Let's go clean up. These guys are... They need to get put out of their misery at this point. They run so much, it's very frustrating. Yeah, your turret shot still kills us, even with the heavy mitigation there. It was, it was heated up already. It's so funny that Fiddlesticks is the one who always ends up killing me. <laughs> when he kills me, he has Ignite, always flashes away, and he's underneath turret. What a goose. It says I have one ability ace. Where is that even coming from? It's the only downside to this build. Low ability haste. You do have 30 on your R. Ability haste isn't a course stat you're really looking for on you since you already have the cooldown reduction from his R, the 70%. But yeah, all in all, Master Yi, he's a bit of a beast right now. Bork and Experimental Hex play. And of course, Master Yi's way better if you have an Enchantress on your team to follow you around. Let's look at the graphs. Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions, we're number two in the game behind Echo. I have to say, I, I gotta try Hellblade's Echo. The fact he did the most damage with Hella Blades is wild. For damage taken, we were the most on our team. For self-mitigated, we were the second most in the game. So overall, our stats were solid. This build, I can see why it's his Mastery's highest win rate build at the moment. With that being said, there are certain items that are definitely still worth building third instead of rage blade i think picking up a maw a sterix or even a wit's end or death stance regarding angel third is totally fine this build at its core i think is just a bork experimental and hex plate and then everything else is fully situational so don't get caught up on oh i have to get rage blade third item for runes pretty decent value all in all mastery super super strong right now without a doubt out of any champion in the game he has the best turret dives, 100% pre-6. At 6, it's a little bit different, but pre-6 with his Q and Meditate, no one else can match it, not even Elise. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.